Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving multi-step equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are two examples for us to learn how to solve multi-step equations. This is number one, and this is number two. What we have here in number one is two times x minus five plus six x is equal to eight. So the question here, how are we going to solve this kind of equation? First, we need to eliminate this parenthesis and simplify this using distributive property. This 2 must be multiplied to x. So that is 2x. And we will also multiply 2 by negative 5. 2 times negative 5 is minus 10. Then, copy plus 6x is equal to 8. The next step is to combine like terms. Here, on the left side of the equation, we have 2x and 6x, which will result to 8x. While this negative 10, we can add positive 10 here and on the other side, but... In this video, we will just transpose negative 10 to the other side of the equation. So what we have here is 2x plus 6x, which is 8x, and that is equal to, copy your 8, transposing negative 10, it will give you plus 10. From negative, it became positive. So here, this is 8x is equal to 8 plus 10. That would be 18. And to, si to finally solve for the variable x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 8 and this by 8. Cancel out, cancel out. Your x is 18 over 8, in which we can express this into lowest term. So the lowest term of this one is 9 over 4. And this is now the value of x in item number 1. Now let us proceed with item number 2. In number 2, same process. We need to simplify first this parenthesis by the CBT property. So we will multiply 7 and x. 7 times x is 7x. Then 7 times 4, that is plus 28. Then copy plus 9x is equal to 2. So as you can see, there are like terms here, which is 7x and 9x, which will result to 16x when we add them. Then copy 28, or we can simply transpose this to the other side. It will become equal to 2. Then from positive, after transposing it to the other side, this is minus 28. Now, this is 16x is equal to negative 26. To solve for the value of x, divide both sides by 16. This one also by 16. Cancel, cancel. Your x is negative because one is negative and the other is positive. This is negative 13 over Eight. And this is the value of x. Now, as you can see, guys, the answers in example number one and number two are both fractions or improper fractions. Um, in other references, they're converting this one into decimals, but I preferred to express the final answer in lowest term, though the answers are impo improper fractions. Okay? So, guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve multi-step equations. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!